Terrifying Joe on Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2! Alright guys, last time we went through the Kalencia Tundra, and we arrived here at the mines. We gotta find Joe. So, let's go on down, baby. Yoink! Man. Hope we can find him. Getting through this dungeon so far has been kind of annoying. A refractor! Haven't seen one of these in a while. Huh? Is that him? Hey, dude. Are you alright? Stop. Don't go on. Too dangerous. Don't talk. You're hurt pretty bad. Does he have an auto mail arm? Hmm. I can't do anything for you here. I'm taking you back to the surface. I'm, a, I'm all for that idea, but it seems I woke up the big reaper bot inside here. Once he's fully charged up, he might leave here and go after the city. You've got to stop him before he... Uh, <gasps> Mr. Daijobu? What is it, Mega Man? Is he... He's all right. He's just passed out, that's all. You wait there, Roll. I got some work to do. Right. He's bleeding pretty badly. He needs help soon before it's too late. Yeah. Don't worry, dude. I'll get this done. How do we get this refractor, though? I'm picking up what looks like a pretty big refractor. We just need to figure out how to bring the barrier down. Yeah, pretty much. Yoink! And oh yeah, oh yeah, viewers, before you hop in here, uh, <coughs> spoilers, boss fight, <coughs> make sure that you equip Mega Man with, with the Power Riser. At least the Power Riser. The secondary part is whatever, but I recommend giving him the Rapid Fire part and stuff like that. Attack and Rapid, in my opinion, are the best buster stats for Mega Man's buster. Once we're able to, I assume, get an item that allows us to equip three buster parts, Attack, Range, and Rapid are going to be the best ones for Mega Man. That's just my humble opinion. That being said, though, let's go in two. And find our first boss. And oh, my God. Damn, that's a big dude. So it's time for a boss fight. Versus the Honda. Whoa. Versus the Hamaru Down. Yeah, literally, it's called Hamaru Down. Whoa. Yeah, he got some big arms and a big ass, literally. It's a big ass robot. But of course, viewers, there are always giant robots. Always. Once he starts smoking and shit like that. Sorry about that, viewers. Once he starts sm smoking and shit like that, that means you pretty much almost got him. But yeah, whoa! This is similar to the first boss fight in the game. Just keep on tapping that ass, and you can't go wrong. <laughs> But yeah, whoa! But yeah, the first boss in the first game was similar to this. Just run around and dodge! And stuff like that. That's pretty much the gist. He's literally, ah! On my ass! <laughs> well, I'm gonna be on that ass! A blast from the ass. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man. If y'all have not seen that, that Paula Deen YTP, you know, the YouTube poop and stuff like that with Paula Deen, blast from the ass. <laughs> Just look it up on YouTube. It is fucking hilarious. That being said, though, whew, took out that guy. Not bad. Not bad for our first boss fight in the game. Not bad at all. That being said, though, the boss fights normally drop a lot of zenny, so make sure to collect it all after the fight. Roll, what are you doing here? I can't leave him. If he dies, my chances of finding my father die, too. I guess you're right. All right, let's get him back to town. Wait. The refractor. You've got to get the refractor. Unless you do, the machines will stay active. Roger. All right, let's get some money. Oh, wait, 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 no. Probably gonna have to use this for something a bit more noble. Oh, well. But, all right! Refractor, get the dose. All right, then. Let's go, Mega Man. Right. Whew. Meanwhile, at the hospital, the doctor says he, he should rest. His, his family is on their way here. I guess he'll be all right for now. 
roll about your father and that drop ship. I know, but I don't think now's a good time. Besides, we gotta help Gramps, right? True, true. We gotta figure out a way to land on Forbidden Island. <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, I'm sorry, did we wake you? I heard what you were saying. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I don't know if I can be of any help. I was holding that blueprint when they found me collapsed outside of town. I don't know why I had it or where I got it. I can't remember. That's why I tried to build it and why I tried to go to Forbidden Island. Have you ever heard of a person named Cascat? What about my face? Do you think you might have seen me before? Sorry, no. I can't remember anything. Uh, uh. Take it easy. Don't push yourself. I'm sorry I asked so many questions. No, no. It's all right. If you're going to go to Forbidden Island, use my dropship. All it needs is a refractor. The one from the ruins should do it. Aw, oh, but I wanted to use it for money. Too bad. Plot. <coughs> we can use your dropship? Thank you so much. That's all right. I just had this feeling that you were meant to use it. That the plot was directing me to give it to you. Thank you. Mega Man, I'll go to the flutter and get things ready. Come back as soon as you can. Right. All right, there you go. We got ourselves a dropship. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome to use the dropship as much as you want, but be careful. I have this feeling like I have forgotten memory. I lost something very important because of that ship. Damn. Well, take it easy, okay? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why he would have a blueprint of the dropship, though. Interesting. Well, in any case, Joe should be alright, so let's leave him here to rest. In any case, can't believe somebody like this, this doctor who's literally a fucking chain smoker, mind you, is taking care of a hospital. Or people in a hospital. I wouldn't be trusting no doctor that's a fucking chain smoker. I beg your pardon? And shit like that. Especially if you're trying to save my life. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I ain't, I ain't giving you money for my, those medical bills. I'd go to another doctor. That being said, though, um, if you haven't yet, be sure to check out the junk shop and get some parts before we leave. We'll, we'll be leaving town. It'll be a while before we come back here. So, there you go. All right, I'll meet you on the flutter. All right, viewers of Mac, we're back at the Yashonke Town Cathedral. In any case, I'm going to take the um the I'm going to take the diggers test again. Remember, I showed this off a couple less, a couple episodes ago. Basically, um, when I did this initially, I went through here, but I didn't make it by the end of the time limit. So I'm going to do this correctly this time to show you guys how to get through this test properly. In any case, this is the test to increase our class ranking from, from B to A. And there's a reason why you'll want to increase your, your, your diggers rank as we progress through the game. The test begins as soon as you open the door in front of you. You have three minutes for the test. You can begin when you're ready. Good luck. Right. All right, let's go! But yeah, if you were expecting that your newly got shit from the, from the junk shop was gonna help you here, um, spoilers, it will not. So yeah, even if you upgrade your shit in town, it, it, it has no bearing on, you know, anything here. Because once you start the test and stuff like that, you literally, um, will be downgraded, or your energy bar will be downgraded, so just keep that in mind. And you'll have no special weapons. At least, I don't think you'll have some, if, assuming you get some later on. And yeah, oh shit, yeah, watch out for these green snakes here. Now, the thing with these green snakes is that if they hit you, then they will inflict some kind of stat, some weird status um, element on you that will make it so uh, you won't be able to use your um, buster. And it takes a long time to wear off. And without access to a medicine bottle and stuff like that, you're going to be in for a tough time. So, you know, there you go. Now, go! There you go. Yeah, the best way to deal with these shield bastards here is to wait for the exact moment that their shield moves away from their face. Once you do, blast the fuck out of them. 
because otherwise it's going to take a long time to get rid of them. And they take a long time to take down. So yeah, once you manage to get a shot in on it, do not let go of the fucking trigger. Trust me on that. Uh, ow! Ow! Quit it. Alright, uh, hurry up, hurry up! Camera angles suck ass. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, take out the green snakes and stuff like that. They, the green snakes have to die first, because if not, you're going to be in for a tough time. Trust me on this. And then go after the purple bitches. There you go! Fuck. All right. Ugh. Now, boss time! Whoa! Surprise, motherfucker. Oh. Ow! Motherfucker! Oh, I recognize- Ow! Ow! I recognize this dude! Yeah! I thought I recognized him. Yeah, he's one of those little, um, big bastards from the- I forget what ruin that was. I think it was the Kozer Woods ruins in the first game. Yeah, those bastards were in the dungeon themselves as regular enemies. But yeah, they act as bosses in the test. Congrats, you completed the test. Nice! But yeah, they are very dangerous. I I think I called them like stalker bots or something like that back, back when I did the first game LP. Congrats, you passed the test. Here's your Class A license. Fuck yeah! The next rank is, great, is Class S license. Good luck! Thanks! Alright, now I'll meet you on the flutter. Alright viewers, we're back on the flutter. I've loaded the dropship in the hangar, Mega Man. How did you do that by yourself? You know what? Don't even question it, video game logic. We've learned not to question this by now. In any case, I have to make a few more adjustments to its engines. Can you pilot the flutter while I'm doing that? Thanks! Dropship? You're not going yourself, are you? Of course, don't forget both my parents were diggers. Besides, I'm worried about Gramps. But I don't even know how to fly the damn flutter. Don't worry, you can do it. If you have any problems, ask Data for help. The dude literally got in my face at, at, the, at the start of the game. You expect me to fly the ship? No one's ever returned from Forbidden Island alive. I can't let you go there, Mega Man. All the more reason why you shouldn't go. Don't worry, I'll go. Mega Man. Alright, then let's go. Ready? Yeah, but not yet. Not yet. Wait on that. Before we do, however, let's go to the development room. Alright, I think we can develop something now. In case. Wait a sec. Alright, we get the jet skates. Nice. Still can't do anything with these yet, but at least we got the jet skates now. Perfect. Alright, now we can go. Oh yeah, is there any re new repairs? Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, let's move then. Perfect. But yeah, luckily, in, now in the second game, we have access to the world map! Because unlike the first game being stuck on one little fucking continent, we got a world map to explore. Yeah, we got plenty of islands in the world. Well, not a lot of islands, but we got islands to explore. But for now though, we gotta go to Forbidden Island, so let's go there. We got plots to do. Whoa! What a weird ass looking ship. Are you ready, Mega Man? Yep. Okay, here we go. Hold hatch open. Releasing docking clamp. Drop ship away! Ah! Alright. Hey! It's like one of those little spinner things. Those little. What the fuck were those things called? I don't remember. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Stop the ride! Stop the ride! I want to get off! <laughs> get off. I want to get off. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, shut up. Damn! Snow. Mega Man? Mega Man, are you alright? Uh. Here you roll, I'm okay. Good. If you want to come back to the flutter, just get into the dropship, okay? Alright then. Let's try and find Grant's ship. It looks like it's drifting. I'm getting a reading north of your position. When you're ready, try heading north and see what you can find. Gotcha, Roll. That being said, though, 
If you like the snow on on uh, of on Calencia, <laughs> you ain't seen snow until you got into this um island. Yeah, blizzard, blizzard, and even more blizzard. Yes, it's literally a snowdrift wound. Literally, I'm making a Final Fantasy. Those that play Final Fantasy XI, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's a reference to one of the musics in, in the Wings of the Goddess expansion. So there you go. That being said, though, let's look at those jet skates. The jet skates basically allows you to, um, later on we'll be getting better, you know, skates. But in any case, it enables high-speed jet roller skates when the um, circle button is pressed. So, you know, there you go. Now, press the circle button. And you can literally dash. Mega Man, Whoa! It looks like there's something on the of you. Yeah, thanks, bro. I can see that from my fucking self. Yeah, well, apparently we got snow buttons. Uh, whatever. Move, bitch! Go have a frozen carrot or some shit, because that's pretty much all you'll find in this place. <laughs> Assuming there are carrots to be had. Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Damn! Woo! It's, it's like I'm roller skating. <laughs> what the? The fuck is this? I'm picking up some human life signs. Okay. What's this? It looks like there's a person in there. Here. Yeah. Is that a guy? There's more people and. That's another drop shit. It looks like there's a girl inside with green hair. Weird. What is it? Do you see something? I'm not picking up anything. How can you not see this? It's a drop ship and there's a woman inside. What the hell? Is she dead? This is creepy as shit. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, there's nothing mysterious about that weird girl with green hair at all. So, let's move on. It looks like there's a person or something up ahead. But how could that be? What the fuck is this? How's it going? What the fuck? Ah! Shit! Oh! The fuck is that thing? Bring out your dead! <laughs> fuck off! That. No, I did not mean to go that way. Damn it. There you go. But yeah, watch out for those things. Do not shoot them because they will. Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Huh? Ah! What's going on? NANI?! What the fuck is that?! A wolf?! Reaverbot, closing in on your back! Yeah, I can see that! Where's the dog trees when you need them?! Fuck! Ow! <laughs> Alright then, come on, bitch! But yeah, it's time for a boss fight! Or mini boss, really. Versus the Wolf Reaper box. So yeah, ba whoa! Basically, he's really quick, but just like the first boss, all you gotta do is just, well, dodge. Just like most bosses in the Mega Man Legends games, you have to dodge, 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 and dodge again. That's pretty much how you're going to win these these boss fights. That's pretty much the gist of every fight in this game. Dodging. If you're good at dodging, then well, oh yeah, we got these bitches again. Yay. But yeah, if you're good at dodging, then you can get out of any situation. And there's going to be a lot of situations in the game in which you'll have to dodge. So I hope you've been training with Piccolo. Because... There's a Reaver bot close by. Watch out! You mean those little bastards? They're nothing, bro. Uh, we face those... Ah! The fuck is that? Whoa! It's like a... Is that supposed to be some kind of mammoth bot? Whoa! That, 
well, well, that ain't Flame Mammoth, I'll say that much. <laughs> like Ice Mammoth, really. We got more. Oh! We got more. Right. I see an electric field over there. It looks like we're. It looks like we're locked in. Uh, so this guy has to defeat these big bitches there. Fine. I'll make them go swamp. Ow. Like the big bitches that they are. Bruh. Fuck off. Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. They're literally mammoths. Not wool. Robotic mammoths. Kill. Ah! Oh shit. Run! Run! Ooh, ah! Ah! I mean, we already knew this place was dangerous, but shit! Mammoths on ice. What the fuck is that up there? Huh. This, some kind of giant crystal? Hmm. Hey, Data! And of course, if you see Data here, you know there's a boss fight coming up, right? Just like in the first game, Data always shows up in the middle of a dungeon. Oh yeah, Mega Man, um, you might want to save and heal because we got a boss fight coming up. In any case, we're near the center of the island now, viewers, but what awaits us at the center? And can we find Professor Beryl and Bluker? Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for Gimme Bitch for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudes, this is Mike Rage for Gaming. Hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.